Today on Toy Shiz, a brand new blue variant Todd McFarlane Batman. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new variant version of Todd McFarlane's Batman figure designed by Todd McFarlane himself. The packaging is really nice. Here's the barcode. This one is starting to hit Target stores now if you are interested. So we're going to check them out and compare them to the other ones. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Todd McFarlane's Batman the Blue variant. And here's old Batman out of the packaging. And he's, I mean, figure wise, base body wise, it's pretty much the same figure as the previous gold label version. However, I think that if you were on the fence in this one, this might be more of the more classic Batman that you'd want. It comes with a stand, of course, but the blue is really nice on this guy. I like it a lot. While I do like the previous gold label's more gray color scheme to him in the cape and the cowl and everything, this one is... Pretty cool. I like the blue. I think I like this one better in terms of the weapons, too. You even get this gold battering. Now, I know Batman doesn't have a gold battering, but this is more of the Legends of Batman, Batman Elseworlds, all that kind of stuff. It's Todd McFarlane's take. It's ridiculous. We've all talked about the prior one, but in terms of the articulation, yeah, same exact as the previous gold label Batman. You do get some nice articulation out of him. He does have butterfly joints, nice rotation at the arms, double jointed elbows. Be careful of the spikes on his arms, man. Those things are sharp. And the, the wonky ball jointed wrists, which I'm not a fan of. This one kind of stands out. He's got really nice ab crunch, more so back. But he does twist at the upper diaphragm and then at the waist as well. Now, same thing, which I didn't care for in the last figure. When you kick him out, those knives get all mishigash on you. So it doesn't look good aesthetically. And then you have double jointed knees and really nice feet, toe, ankle, rock. He's very secure, very sturdy. I do like the cape. I have no problems with it. I wish they would have just done a different cape for this one or a different head even on this Batman, but in terms of the weapon storage, the different types of weapons, I think that this one fares better. I think he holds them better. I like the battering aspect. I didn't care for the goggles on the last one, but now they've kind of grown on me. Like it's such a weird Elseworlds take on Batman that it works for me in its ridiculousness. So I do appreciate it. I don't think it's what everyone is looking for when you think Batman, you want like the classic Batman. I get you. But in terms of someone who has collected Batman and has lots of Batman, they don't have this Batman. So that's why I appreciate it even more. It's different and it's not the same thing that I am buying. And if you wanted to pair him up with Spawn, yeah, I'd say... This Batman goes really well. I think he even stole some of the spikes from old Spawn there. But you can put him with the new Diamond Select Crow just to kind of scale him up. Yeah, it's cool. It's different. It's a wackadoo Batman. It's Todd McFarlane's Batman. But to, for me, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I think I'll keep the goggles on the other one and keep this one as the quote-unquote traditional kind of Batman. I like the blues a lot more. I think the blues make him pop a little more. Different sort of cape. I like the weapons a lot. A lot more than the last release. Maybe a different face. Maybe more snarling. Maybe more McFarlane mean kind of gruff type of head sculpt. That would have been ideal. But I do recommend it. If you haven't picked up the last version, this is probably the way that you want to go. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything. Todd McFarlane's Batman. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, check out the 90s Legends of Batman and Batman the Dark Knight and all those figures from Kenner. Those are amazing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see it in this figure. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.